Welcome to the SDA Housing Podcast, brought to you by NDIS Property Australia. Before starting this episode, we need to provide a general disclaimer. Information contained in this podcast is general in nature only. It does not take into account the objectives, financial situation or needs of any particular person. You need to consider your financial situation and needs before making any decisions based on the information in this podcast. And you should consider seeking independent and professional advice for your personal circumstances. All right, let's begin. Hello, everybody. My name is Debbie from NDIS Property Australia, and you're listening to the SDA Housing Podcast, a show that explains, highlights, guides, and brings awareness about all things SDA in this ever-changing NDIS world. I have Ian returning for another episode with us today. Hello, Ian. How are you? Hi, Debbie. I'm very good. Thank you. Ian, today is Halloween. Ha. <sighs> Halloween. <laughs> Hello, the Hello, Eve. <laughs> it is all Hallow's Eve? All Hallow's Eve. Yeah. yeah. So, look, we were just chatting and we thought, why don't we do a little topical podcast episode being Halloween on Halloween horror stories and, and basically the analogies that that can be compared with, with SDA investing. <laughs> so, great idea, Ian. I love it. Um, so we've been brainstorming and come up with a whole bunch of um, ways to compare Halloween and Halloween ideas and concepts with investing in SDA. Oh my god! <laughs> we need creepy music now, don't we? <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> so let's start with the scary side of Halloween. How how do we compare that to SDA? Well, you know, it's actually mixed emotions, isn't it, for most kids that are going out to Halloween as they're anticipating what's going to happen. So it's kind of scary and exciting at the same time. So I guess the way that I would connect or how I would relate to that in SDA investment would be, how do our investors feel when they're anticipating this? Because it's it's new. It's something they've never done before. If they've invested in other properties, this is a completely different ballgame. So SDA investors, first time investors in this field can come to the table going, I don't really know. I don't really know enough about this. I don't know what to expect. And so investing in this arena can be very scary, but the result is exciting. So I guess that's a very good start to the analogy between Halloween and how kids feel about that and how our investors feel about these properties. Mm, Very, very much so. So another aspect of Halloween is, okay, kind of similar to scary, but the fear. Oh, yes. What, what are SDA investors fearful of? Well, again, it comes back down to that unknown, but also there's horror stories in SDA. Anybody that's not really involved in SDA will probably tell you some horror stories, and they're probably unqualified stories. But we are aware of some of those things that have gone wrong for investors because they come to us and they look for solutions. So. I guess the fear that kids have in approaching this or the fear parents have in letting their children go out doing trick-or-treating might relate to the fact that there are things to worry about in this, which is if you build it and you pay for this kind of property, are you going to end up with vacancies um, because it is a smaller percentage of the population? Or are you going to have a delay in that in that tenant coming into the property? So I think they're genuine fears that they we have to address. For sure, as are the fears of Halloween. <laughs> so on Halloween, kids go out trick or treating. They're hunting uh, lollies, basically. So how would that analogy work in with SDA? Oh, look! It's that hunting process. It's knowing where to go, uh, getting uh, good tips from um, you know other kids or parents, knowing which streets they're allowed to go down. It's that hunting process that everybody's going through. And I guess that's what we're doing. We're hunting for the right opportunities for our clients. Our clients are doing their shopping around there. We're also hunting for participants. So there is definitely... All the right providers? Yeah, the providers, the, the participants, the opportunities, the lending, all of that is a hunt. And people have got to be game to be part of that hunt. Mm. So other aspects of Halloween are the suspense, the unknown. Yes, the suspense. Well, I guess... As you lead up to that night, if you're a young kid and you you know what um, you know you're going to get 
collecting all these lollies and your parents are going to allow you to eat some of them as well. The suspense of what's going to happen, but also maybe it's scary. Maybe you, you are confronted by scary images that you don't see all year round. Yeah, the, you know, the fancy dress costumes that everyone wears that, you know, for a little kid can look pretty real. Yeah, absolutely. And also, even if you're older and you're going to a party, the suspense of, you know, is your outfit going to be, uh, you know, is it going to go down? Tell me about it. I've got one on Saturday. I have no idea what I'm going to wear yet. <laughs> anyway. Old, old sheet with holes in it, yes? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, it's that fear of unknown. So, you know, I guess another analogy might be that you have, you, you build your property, you've been guided to build it, you know where you know where you're going, you've got some help, but are you going to end up with an IL participant or HPS? And is that going to give you the result that you wanted? And there's, there's that unknown all the way through. And so therefore, that is something that definitely has that analogy in that in that um, in our Halloween theme. So we've determined that, that all that scary, suspenseful, suspenseful, fearful side of Halloween, there are definitely analogies we can draw with SDA investing. But what about on the other side? We know that Halloween is also actually a celebration. Yes, it is. But you know, who's celebrating it? And it's got to be the people that really believe in Halloween as a festival or believe it as a holiday. And I know growing up, we probably had different experiences of Halloween. And we both identified that it's definitely a US holiday that's become more, more global. popular. Yeah, more global. So do we believe in it? And I guess the um, the SDA analogy would be in the face of so many different types of investment, is SDA something that you can believe in? Is it is it a worthwhile investment to pursue? And how does it compare to everything else? And and should we really be doing it? So that that's definitely the analogy. And there's a lot of people that don't believe in in Halloween and and really don't they want to avoid it. And um, yeah, so avoidance. So how does that come into it? If you're avoiding Halloween because it's you know you didn't grow up with it, you don't want these people coming and trick or treating and knocking on your door. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I guess why, so. they, why is that avoidance? Is it because there's, you know, um, just to, again back to the fear of the unknown? But why would people avoid SDA? I think people would avoid SDA because of the unknown. They don't know what to expect. It's too much to learn in a short space of time. It might be that they have heard those horror stories and they've they really, you know, that that fear is too much to overcome. There's no point wasting their time doing it. Yeah. Bad press, bad, you know, friend of a friend bought one and oh my goodness, you know. I think that's the reason. Uh, and, and generally the people that are, are giving the bad press for SDA, they probably don't know the industry that well and they might have an agenda behind why they would, you know, promote what, what they're talking about as opposed to, you know, talking about SDN and its merits. So um, definitely has that um, analogy again. So, yeah. What about, okay, so back to going out, trick-or-treating, you're going out with a group or, you know, your, your family, your friends, or you're going out on your own. I don't know. I've never trick-or-treated, so I'm guessing it would mainly be a group, but people could celebrate it in different ways. So how would that work in the SDA investment world? I think that analogy. I think there's a lot of people coming to SDA to be investors on their own. Um, they might be investing as a, a, a mum and dad couple that that they still feel on their own. Or there's there's opportunities where they can even look at being part of an investment fund or doing fractional investment where they're you know putting between five and thirty five percent in, and another group is putting in the sixty five percent. So that's that would be a good analogy there, and and they have their merits. It's great to be able to go out as a group when you're trick-or-treating, but then you're going to have to share all the lollies. And then if you're going out as an individual, do you know where to go? And is it as much fun? And can you can you really participate on your own? But you get all the benefits. You do get all the benefits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I guess that, you know, we're going out where we're participating in the community, you know, I guess Halloween in those communities that do celebrate it, it can be a real bonding experience particularly for the kids that can get together with their fa their siblings and their neighbours and go out and get dressed up. And it's, you know, it's a really fun event that they look forward to all year. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I've seen whole roads closed off and, and everybody in a particular street or cul-de-sac is all celebrating Halloween. And even people that wouldn't have been involved in it, they think, oh, well, you know, it's, it's part of the community and I want to be, I want to be part of that. So how does that relate to um, SDA, I guess? And um, we're working with so many different stakeholders. We've got the providers, we've got the SIL, we've got the participants themselves, we've got the investors, we've got 
everybody that's adding to the services to create the result for the participants at the end all coming together and we've got a joint or a shared goal in, in common. And obviously, without the investors, nothing else happens. And so this is it's an essential part of, of the process. And I would say that it is part of a community. And there's a lot of people that approach us and say, we really want to invest, but we want to do it in a way that is socially responsible and giving back. And there's nothing better than that kind of community involvement. Yeah. And I guess, too, that almost leads in off a bit of a tangent, but we're, we've been talking a little bit recently about SDA apartment complexes, and this is kind of not always, but in, in some instances, these are really like little communities that are being built, and it might not just be all SDA dwellings. It might be other care dwellings or allied health facilities in these dwellings, and it really is building a community. So I think that's what, you know, that is about. And I think that's a good analogy back with the, the community bonding that comes with Halloween. Yeah, absolutely. So I think that sort of was the, that the up, extent of our brainstorming <laughs> on, on Halloween <laughs> versus SDA. Well, it's been fun. I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> it's nice to identify something that the community are actually um, uh, believing and following and celebrating and, and see how it, 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 it relates to something that we're doing every day. Yeah. So look, just a quick little fun episode, uh, something different. Happy Halloween, everyone, And which will probably have been yesterday by the time this is published. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Please make sure you are subscribed and following us so you can keep in the loop with all of our upcoming episodes. We would really appreciate it if you could leave us a five-star rating, a written review, and to share this podcast with those that could benefit. Until next time, catch you on the next episode.